Alright, um, welcome people to um, another part in the journey of making a keyblade or forging your own keyblade. Just so you know, it doesn't have to be a keyblade, this guy can be used to make pretty much anything you want to make. Whether it's um, swords, shields, um, tables, chairs, etc. Anyway, so um, in today's part, we will be making the, the chain and charm from the keyblade. Uh, we'll be making a, a chain and charm for the keyblade, I should be saying. So what we're going to do first is we're going to open up the reference image, which is um, drawn by Madoc Curious on DeviantArt. Um, so we're going to have a look at what the chain and charm looks like. As you can see, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven rounded rectangular chains, a single circular chain, and followed by this um, a Mickey Mouse symbol with a, a kingdom symbol on top. So what we're going to do is we're going to be making each of these chains from scratch. I mean, you can just Photoshop these out. That's if you want, but you know, I don't know. I'd rather make them. And also the other thing about it is that I know that my chains and charms are typically flat. Typically flat. But um, I know there are some people in DeviantArt who do make 3D Keyblade models. Um, and, and they make really, really good Keyblade models because their chain and charms are actually 3D modeled, not like mine. Mine are just basically textures slapped onto a, a plane. But you know, um, that's how Square Enix does it as well, with their Keyblades. At least that's um, what I know. Anyway, alright, so let's get started, shall we? Let's let's start by making the rectangular chain. So as you can see in this design, it's got, um, it's grey and white, and it's got this nice blue, aqua blue inner part. That's what we're going to try and make today. Alright, so we'll make this part, and then we'll make the circular one later. Okay, so we'll start with new. Uh, new... Let's make it 1024. Oh, it's already 1024. Great. So um, if you haven't done it already yet, width and height both have to be 1024, um, just so it's easier to import into Blender later on. Okay. Hit OK. You have this lovely blank canvas. File open. I've gone on to um, Google Images and I found myself a rounded rect rectangle. All right. So this is the rounded rectangle that we will be using to be making the chain. So I just I'm just using the magic tool, the magic um, wand to to get out the the black part. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to right click, Blender options, stroke, not a mitre, not a myocardial infarction, but stroke, and we're going to see if we can make it chainable. Okay, right click, convert to smart object, right click, rasterize. Now we can select the whole thing, choose the color gray, or we can actually get a sample of the color gray. Sample this color, and then we just paint over it. Painting over it. There we go. <clears throat> now we get a second color, the lighter color, make a new layer, and then I will make this a bigger brush. Reduce the hardness, and then we will do that. Hmm, I'm not very happy about that. Let's try that again. I'm still not happy about that. We can keep doing this until we get it right. <laughs> ah, okay. I'll take that then. This looks better. Let's take this. And then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to open another layer. And this time I'm going to pick out the blue. The night, the lovely deep blue. And then I'm going to see if I can... Actually, there's another way you can do this. You can... I can take the inside... Oops. Take the inner portion of this. Paint it with the blue. And I can make it bigger. Let's make it... 130. No, too big, too big, too big. Way too big. 110. 110. Okay, let's see what it looks like. 
capacity. Hmm, no, it's like what I'm looking for. Let's try again. Should transform height 120. Yikes, too big. 115. Alright, 115 seems to work well. We'll stick to 115. Select original, delete from the current, and now you have this. Beautiful. Alright, so now we have to make it all shiny using the lovely aqua blue color that Marduk Curious has used. Uh, select the blue part. Select this and just... We'll make it a bit darker. Oops. We'll make it a bit darker only because I liked I like I really like the, the aqua blue. The sorry deep sea blue that, that he used for, for the original artwork. Oh it is working. Okay, never mind. Alright, so there we have it. That's one of the chains done. So now we need to make it all into a single layer. And how we do that is we will control E. E, E, E. Done. So it's now a single layer. So that's one of the chains done. Done. Beautiful. Okay, so that's the chain done. Now let's make this. Which can be very easily made using the brush. Change the hardness to 100%. Size, whatever size you want. I'll start with um I know, let's let's use the proper colours. So we'll take the darkest colour and we'll take the lightest colour. Well not completely light, because I don't want to use I don't use white for it. And I don't want to use black for it either. The extremes are usually not that great to use for pictures. Or well, for these pictures. Alright, so we will make a black circle. And then we will, what we will do, I will use this and give it some shading. Whoops, I've got to make it softer. There we go, beautiful. And now we can make the inner part. So I will take the blue here, this lovely aqua blue, oh sorry, deep sea blue. And we have this lovely aqua blue here. Uh, Hardness to 100, size something smaller preferably, no too big. Still too big. Way too too small. Oh this is just right. Alright, we'll use this then. We will use the deep sea blue as the main color on new layer. it and use the deep sea uh, the, the aqua blue and just oh yeah, I keep forgetting to change the hardness let's make it go the other way mm, no make it smaller no make it smaller it's too too big ah there we go just right okay now make everything one layer, Control e use the eraser, make the eraser bigger, make sure its hardness is at its maximum, and then we want to cut a hole in the center. Nope, that doesn't look good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. We'll keep it as, as that, okay? So now these two are done, and now we just have to make the Mickey Mouse symbol, this this Mickey Mouse symbol, okay. So lucky for us, I have gone on to Google Images and I have sourced out a Mickey Mouse head, which is here, along with a symbol, which is called Symbol Sora, which you can both find on Google Images, what, 
could not complete request because the file format cannot pass the file. All right, turns out that um, the file format was in the P PNG was in a PNG format that was not compatible with Photoshop, which is quite rare. But anyway, I opened the file in um, Paint and saved it as a JPEG. So here we are, JPEG. All right, so just I magic wand the head, pop the head here. It's a bit too big. So let's resize it, make sure that its scaling is still the same, so we'll call it 50-50. And now we want to use the symbol Sora. Alright, uh, free transform, how big do we want it? I really can't see anything, only because it's all black. Eh, let's just make it 210. Whoa, what did I do? 210. There we go. Lucky Mickey gets a crown. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to paint this a different color, because otherwise, no point having black on black, can't see anything. So we're going to paint it um, blue, using the reference colors. So by the looks of it, we'll make the reference color, we'll make the background color, uh, we'll make the background color uh, the light blue, like so, and then we'll use the darker blue as the shading. And then we'll use the light light blue as a highlight. You can do that quite simply by going right click, blending options, stroke color and taking this color and you can make it larger if need be done and you can rasterize it convert the smart object rasterize done actually we shouldn't have done that control Z let's not rasterize it just yet let's leave it for now because I need to fit the crown onto Mickey's head Why is it doing this to me, huh? You know, I could just do it like that, but then you look really ugly. The crown looks like it's on the, the charm. So... In fact, why don't we color the Mickey's head first? We'll worry about the charm later. Alright, darker color, lighter color, color lighter, and we use the darker color as a shading. I suck at this. <laughs> Oh well. What can you do? I'm doing it using a mouse too. I wish I had a pen, like a tablet. Would be nice though. I have absolutely no concept of shading or lighting. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Anyway, we'll leave it as that for now. Now, what we have to try and do is we have to try and um, get this helm, this this crown to fit on his head. How are we going to do that? Well, we can try and transform it for one. We can try and warp it. Not sure how things will turn out though. But we'll just have to see. I don't normally do this. Desperate times calls for desperate measures. And I have killed it. <laughs> like, killed it. Killed it, killed it. Hmm. 
Mm. I suppose it does work. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. It looks okay. Ish. Shh. So we'll go apply. Yep, apply. So now it looks like the crown is resting on King Mickey's head. So we're gonna go rasterize. Uh, rasterize. Where are you? Convert the smart object. Rasterize. And I want to join it with this. There we have it, the King Mickey's head and the two chains. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to set things out so it's easier to work with on Blender. So I'm going to move the Mickey Mouse head up here. I'm going to change its size. Let's make it 70. So set. No, let's make it 60 actually. 60, 60. I need to make a copy of it and I need to flip it. Edit, transform, horizontal. And we'll move it here. Now we move these down here. These should be fine. I don't need to flip these. So I will leave these as they are. Alright, so this will be called Chain and Charm. But before we exit from here, I just want to check to see if there's anything else we missed. So rectangular charm, rectangular, sorry, rectangular chain, 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 circular, followed by the charm. Okay, so that sounds nice. So we've got seven of these, one of these, and one of these. Okay, all right, I think, I think we're pretty much set. That looks really wrong. Anyway, I mean, it doesn't look symmetrical. Okay, file, save for web, save. We call it chain. Whoops, chain. I usually call it ch c h a i r m because it's c h a i for chain and a, a r m um for charm. So it's just you know a portmanteau of two words together. All right, save, done. All right. So next up, we will be we will be um importing this into Blender to make the chain and the charm, and then. It will all be complete and you can import into MMD, not MMD, sorry, into PMD, PMX to rig the bones and everything. Alright, alright then, I'll see you then. Bye bye.